everybody. Hey, Graham. Hey, Virginia. Hi, everybody. Uh, Graham, this is just a random daily hand from uh, Skybridge Club, uh, but it's a pretty one. I was hoping you would uh, play it with me. Sure, let's have a look. Now I'm set up standard, five card majors, strong one no trump opening. Pretty hand, huh? Nice hand. But following two passes. Sure, and very balanced, so it's nice, but um, you know, we, we're gonna need some help from partner if we're gonna to get too high. Mm. So this is too strong for a one no trump opening, right? It is, yes. And so does that mean just a one diamond bid and we see what we get? You're playing standard. So if you open a heart or a spade, you'd be showing a five card suit. So yes, you cannot open a heart or a spade uh, or shouldn't. And, mm. I mean, it's not the end of the world if you do, but. <laughs> but uh, for folks playing Ackle, um, they would open one heart probably. Yep. It's now, some players will also open one club on that hand. Ah. Uh, I think that's it's not my, I don't like to do that. To me, it just seems, <laughs> I've got ace, queen, seven of diamonds and ace, four of clubs. So uh, for me, that's a one diamond opener. Better mm. minor, you're opening the better minor. Some people just always open a club um, and, and don't open a diamond unless they've got four of them. But, mm. um, so there's, there's two different ways you can go, but that one diamond's fine, better mine. Mm. So partner responds, uh, showing some clubs and enough strength that game is on, right? Yep, two clubs is 10 or more points and you've got 18, so. Can we just go straight to three no trumps? Do we, we can. anything else to explore or? Uh, I mean, we 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 know we know partner doesn't have twelve points, has ten or eleven. So this is it, isn't it? That's it. That's almost certainly the right contract. When you know where you're going. Okay, what do we got? Hmm. Okay, good. Good hand. You know, this is one I, I, I've been referring to it recently, but the lessons that you did on suit combinations. Hmm. All right. Well, talk us through it. The, we're, how do we deal with our hearts? And, um, you know, what, how can we? How can we find some, how can we turn some of those possible winners into sure winners? Right, okay, good. So what we've got potential tricks and all over the place. What we have here is yet another very common suit combination. And we've got the ace jack. Where's the queen of hearts? Is West leading top of a sequence? Looks like it. Looks like West has got King Queen. Hmm. So let's look. This is this is such a cons common suit combination. It's worthwhile just spending a little bit of time on. Hmm. Let's say that. Uh, suppose we win the Ace of Hearts, and later on. We might not play this way, but suppose we were, with, were to win the Ace of Hearts and finesse the Spades, say, losing to the King of Spades in the East hand. At that point, East is probably going to return a heart, mm. which will be bad for us. Mm. Because, remember, we've won the Ace of Hearts and then we've lost the trick to East and then East plays the heart and it's right through our jack seven five and you know we're going to be in trouble mm. we don't want east leading a heart what we can what we can do here is play the three of hearts and then the five of hearts from our hand ducking that opening lead mm. now yes we'll lose the trick but that puts west in a very awkward spot 
it means that if West continues playing hearts, mm. you know, it's, it's a little bit hard to, um, you sort of have to take your time and visualize how this might go. Mm. So imagine that you play, West plays the king of hearts and you duck, you play the five. That leaves you with the ace and the jack. Right. If West plays another heart, you've got guaranteed two heart tricks. Right. If West switches to another suit, then that's taken the pressure off the heart suit. Mm. So ace, jack, and, and nothing in the dummy, if you duck this, uh, this particular play is called a bath coup when you've got the ace, jack, seven. Can you spell that? Can you spell that for me? Bath, B-A-T-H, like having bath. a bath. Yeah. Coup, as in C-O-U-P. You know, coup. I, I feel like uh, my kids do one of those every night. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, so let's play the three of hearts. All right, bath coup it is. And the five, and now West is stuck. Okay, great. So West has played a heart, and that's guaranteed you a, a second heart trick. Mm. So you've still, still got to decide what to do, and and uh, spades fine. Yeah, play a spade by. Great, and we still have our heart stopper, but it right. gives us a chance to try to develop one of these other potential. Sure. Now, should we um, play through these clubs earlier or later? Yeah, I think I think clubs is a fair choice. We can. If we're lucky, the suit will be 3-3 three, three, or the jack of clubs will fall doubleton. There's a chance we might make four club tricks. Ace first and then to the long suit? The... Let's do that. Yep. No reason to finesse this, right? No, let's play the king. Yep, that's the most likely way to get. All right, let's see how it breaks. Yep. Tossing, okay. what should I toss? Well, it's disappointing that um, uh, West has the four mm. card club suit, but um, mm. that's right. so you can you could you might as well toss seven of hearts, I guess. And so now we're vulnerable in two places. We we have the heart stopper still, but yeah, you could you, there's, you could do a couple of things. You could you could play one more club trick, losing it, and that would set up the last uh, club trick. Uh, uh. But I wouldn't necessarily do that. The other option would just be to play diamonds. I mean, you might mm. you could if you were to play the jack of diamonds, say, mm. um, you might be able to set up some diamond tricks. Right. I, I think mm. if you, I'd, I'd be tempted to play the jack of diamonds here. Notice that East has already thrown one diamond. But play the mm -hmm. jack. And if that loses, nothing too bad can happen. So let it run. Yep. Great. Good. 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 And good. I, again, right? Let's we, go. Oh, this is. One more? Yep. <laughs> That's great. All great. right. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, let's see. Should I cash that ace of hearts now? Actually, we did make a slight, sorry, I, we made a slight mistake there. We should have, um, we would have been better to hang on to that ace of diamonds as an entry back to the spade. My mistake, sorry, Bajir. If you're playing this at home, can you see there's a slightly better way to play that hand? Uh, uh, maybe there's not. No, it is a bit tricky because we, no, I'm not sure about that. What I'm thinking here is that if we finesse the spades and mm. the spade finesse, uh, we've got no way to get back to hand, maybe with the Ace of Hearts. Mm. So um, anyway, so you've got to decide now. 
I, I'd, I'd be tempted just to finesse. Well, I don't know what I'd do now, to be honest. Could we count on um, West leading a like? If we lose a trick, could we count on West leading a heart as the entry back? We we could hope. I mean, we could finesse the spade, and if the spade if the spade finesse loses, we're, we're only going to lose one more trick. I, I think it's reasonable to take the spade finesse. Yep. And so, Nothing which one? Two to the to the ten. To the ten, yeah. Nothing bad's going to happen if this loses. Lovely. Now, uh... yeah, you can grab that ten now. Now, play a club now, Bajir. Very important. Right, right. So this <laughs> is if you play the Ace of Spades mm. and the club. You're setting up a spade trick for. You might be setting up a spade trick for West. But um, here we're going to lose one, and we know that whichever hand we win in, we have two. We'll have right. the last trick. Yep. Okay. Good. Now that club's a winner. So, so that's you, the you've got the heart trick, but you've got it back with a club trick. Hmm. Great. Well, we're we're playing this hand early, so that hundred percent looks great. We'll see how uh, how other folks do. It has the feel of the hand, and especially hearing that um might have missed um an opportunity there. I I, I wonder if any. Do you think anyone's going to find a twelfth trick? Maybe. I mean, someone might choose to finesse the clubs rather than play the ace king mm. thing, which would have worked on this hand. Mm. Uh, Someone might have chosen to finesse the spades early, which hmm. would work in this hand too. So lots of possibilities. <laughs> lots on of hand. options. Yeah. If if you were to distill one takeaway for us learners, there's so much here, but um... I would say, uh, you know, so many times in bridge, it's knowing suit combinations and recognizing suit combinations which is your savior mm -hmm. so look at that ace jack seven five and the three in the west hand ducking the king of hearts when west leads the king of hearts mm -hmm. duck that trick meaning that if west continues hearts we get two heart tricks if west switches to another mm -hmm. suit we get timing to sets up. we get the timing back to do whatever we want um mm -hmm. Playing hands, Bajir, and all the time, the opening lead, the opening lead, the opening lead. Mm. That's... Uh, thank you, Graham. Um, yeah, it's a, an oldie but a goodie, those, those lessons. Gosh. Yeah. yeah, what we learned from that lead. Thank you, and thank you, everyone, for watching. Until next time. Thanks, all. See ya.